Right. Yeah. This is, I mean, I think this top, this topic of grief and loss is one that um, I haven't really thought much about, honestly. And so having you ask me to come and be interviewed is like, <laughs> is brought it to my mind for the first time in, in a way that I've just never really conceptualized. It's hard uh, to say like, you're the one who has been through it so much that you're familiar with it and you can talk about it and you can kind of help navigate it. Um, that's a, that's a, it's a terrible place to be. You know, I used to plant a tree for every person that I knew close to me that passed away and like I had to stop doing it because there's just like too much. Um, it's been a bit over a year and a half since he died. Um, and I have a problem when people say that they were killed because Sela wasn't killed, he died. You know, he was there by choice and there was a lot of choice up until the, the death and the accident itself. And there is responsibility in that too. So it's important for me to say that he died and not that he was killed. My first climbing partner was killed when I was 24. And then, uh, you know, the list goes on.